The air travel bubble between Singapore and Hong Kong has been scheduled to start for a second time, but is it headed for another no-go as COVID-19 cases here spike, prompting the authorities to start tightening measures in this country? Stick around and let's talk. Greetings from Singapore and welcome to this page and channel where we provide you with tips, updates and information on inbound tourism related travel into Singapore. So if visiting Singapore is on your to-do list, hit the subscribe and follow button and I will look forward to seeing you in my country. Let's get started with the situation at the borders. Tourists from these five locations can continue to enter Singapore for a holiday without having to do any quarantine under the existing air travel pass. And also, the air travel bubble between Singapore and Hong Kong, which was scheduled to start at the end of last year but was postponed due to the spike in COVID-19 cases in Hong Kong, has been scheduled to start for the second time on the 26th of May 20. 21. Now, this has caused much of a buzz in Singapore with ticket prices soaring. However, from a personal point of view, I will have to see this happening before I believe it because quite a number of things have happened in Singapore after this announcement which you will find out if you keep watching the rest of the video. Singapore has been named as the world's best place to be in during the COVID-19 pandemic and this is due to mainly two reasons one being the control of the COVID-19 situation in Singapore and the second being the vaccination rollout however moving into the future I personally feel that what we have achieved up to this point really counts for nothing as we take a look at what is happening in Singapore right now now this is what has been happening in Singapore recently there has been a spike in COVID-19 infections. A number of clusters have developed. There are a couple of unlinked cases. And what's worrying is that a number of these infected individuals were actually fully vaccinated against the virus. Now, naturally, this has caused some alarm among the population here, which prompted one of our COVID-19 ministers to come out and say this and I fully believe what he says and I believe that this also applies to anywhere in the world. We always knew that vaccinations are not 100%. The fact that breakthrough infections can happen is something we already knew about. So we should not, you know, overreact to the news of breakthrough infections or worse, make the biggest mistake which is to say that oh, in, in vaccinations don't work and therefore maybe there is no need for a vaccine. I think that would be disastrous because the vaccinations do work. They protect yourself, first of all, from the risk of severe disease, and they do help to reduce transmission. It's not 100%, but there is an impact. And the more of us who are vaccinated, the bigger the impact will be in reducing overall transmission of the virus. So, after having exited our one and only lockdown in June last year, things have been improving steadily until the recent chain of events have prompted the authorities to shift Singapore into reverse gear as they start to tighten some of the measures in this country. These are some of the measures that will affect you, the tourist or the visitor coming into Singapore. Group sizes will now have to be reduced from 8 to five. This will mean when you're out dining and stuff like that. Also, the overall capacity for entry into places like the shopping malls, tourist attractions, tour groups and stuff like that will be reduced. And high risk settings like indoor gyms and fitness centers will have to completely close. Singapore is on a state of heightened alert at this point in time and it's really left to be seen what will happen. But I do believe that the people of Singapore will do the necessary to avoid a second lockdown in this country. That's it for this video and thank you for watching and for more Singapore related content, stay connected and I will talk to you again.